Aloha everyone, I am Jamie Scott Okataya, founder and CEO of JSA, and this is a very special edition of Know Before You Go, PTC 26 Industry Trends. All right guys, if you're heading out to PTC 26 in fabulous Honolulu, this is your quick download on some of the top trends everyone's gonna be talking about once you land. Again, today, special edition, I am joined by Ms. Brianna Boudreau. She's the Senior Research Manager at our favorite analyst firm, Telegeography. Brianna, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me, Jamie. I'm excited to be back. It's good to uh, see you. We have so much to talk about. It's been so long and we've got so much to talk about. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Of course, AI. Everyone's talking about AI and its potential impact on global networks. It's certainly the biggest topic of the day and was a focus for sure of PTC last year. And now here we are a year later, where, where are we going with this? For sure, I don't think I had a meeting last year at PTC that didn't mention AI in some way. And it certainly tops the list of demand drivers when we talk to providers, but its impact on global networks still remains a little bit of a puzzle. Um, we're seeing huge investments in capital going into AI. Um, but it's still early days. On the data center side of things, you're seeing a lot of investment in the United States, in locations outside of traditional connectivity hubs that are close to abundant power, um, power generation as well. And then on the network side of things, you're starting to see a lot of investment in anticipation, but which piece of the network they have to invest in is still a little bit of an open question. Um, if, for example, if you're looking at training models, maybe you're pulling data from around the world, are you investing in the long haul pieces of the network? Or if data is being stored closer to end users, are you looking at investing in metro networks? Similar things for inference. Um, inference could be everywhere from your data center to your device to locations in between. And so where those clusters are located matters for where you're looking to invest. Is it further or closer to those end users? will help you forecast where you're gonna see bandwidth demand growth going forward. One interesting thing we've seen, and I expect to hear about a little bit more at PTC, is that we're seeing a lot of these AI-focused companies, new cloud operators, they're starting to build out their global networks, and they're becoming bigger consumers of international bandwidth, so I bet there'll be a lot of discussion about what their plans are during the event. Mm, very interesting, very interesting. All right, so speaking about building, uh, we've, we're interested in these big global networks, submarine cables, of course, always a big part of PTC. What can we expect to hear about there? Submarine cables are always a hot topic and one that is near and dear to our hearts here at Telegeography. And there's a lot of planned investment in submarine cables around the world right now. A massive amount of new capacity coming online over the next few years with a diverse group of owners. I think the latest data I saw was the value of new submarine cables entering service between 2025 and 2027 is forecasted to reach over $14 billion. Wow. So a lot going in right now. I'm looking forward to hearing about what is the impact of these new systems going to be on different routes around the world. There's a lot of focus on routes connecting to Asia and the Pacific, always a focus for many companies at PTC. Also, what is this going to do to the competitive landscape with some of these systems coming in? And what does that mean for pricing in the wholesale market? I think we'll also see a continued focus on achieving network resilience. That topic was top of mind for many last year. And with continued outages in regions like the Red Sea, it continues to remain a hot topic of discussion um, with industry players. And kind of how do you achieve that network resilience? See, there's a lot of creative solutions being floated. Is it more cables on major routes? Is it connectivity on unique routes, both subsea and terrestrial? Um, so a lot of discussion will be focused on that as well. Uh, this is a great time to be in Honolulu. There's so, so many critical issues at stake. We're, we need to discuss, we need to discuss. All right, so before we wrap up, I wanna make sure everyone knows where to find you at the conference. Can you tell us about Telegeography's session at PTC 26? what you'll be covering and who should make sure it's on their calendar, who should go? Of course, well, we'd love to see everyone if you're there the Sunday of the event at our annual workshop. And my colleagues and I will be covering a number of topics. John Cambo will be there um, discussing the latest trends in the interconnection market, how data center operators are addressing some of those challenges with power and space that we just talked about. 
also what would be the next major hub. Tim Strong will be back, always a fan favorite, doing a thorough, <laughs> thorough rundown of what everyone needs to know about global networks in the new year. And finally, I'll be there with our latest roundup of global pricing trends and what we're forecasting for prices headed into 2026. So definitely don't miss it. Again, if you're there on the Sunday of the event, we'd love to see you there. Oh my goodness, we would absolutely will not miss this. It's in our calendars. Brianna, yes. thank you so much for giving us this quick preview, especially during such a busy time of the year. We appreciate you so much. And thank you also for helping our audience truly understand what to know before they go to PTC 26. And guys, if you're looking for even more ways to go ahead and prep for the big event, be sure to check out my Know Before You Go episode with Brian Moon, the CEO of Pacific Telecommunications Council. So uh, that video, we dive into practical tips for making the most of your time at PTC, from scheduling meetings to navigating the conference like a pro, definitely one to watch. So thank you, Brianna, for amazing, amazing insight. Uh, these are the types of topics, guys, that we will be talking about over in Honolulu. And thank you, viewers, for watching. Share this with your team as you prep for Honolulu. And don't forget to subscribe to JSA TV for more PTC 26 insights and on-the-ground coverage. Aloha, guys, and we'll see you in Honolulu.